Hey, what's up guys? Andrew here. And in this video, I'll show you how to use VST plugins with voice meter banana. I want to make a quick note here that the prerequisite for this video is that you've installed and configured voice meter banana. What you will need in this video includes the Reaper plugins, the Lisp, the Esser, the Frontier limiter, as well as the Protoverb reverb and the links for those things will be in the description below. Next thing you want to do is activate the patch insert. You want to go to menu system settings and then go to the first two patch inserts on the bottom and activate those by clicking on them so lighthost runs in a tray you're going to find it here this is lighthost you can do a shortcut for it in your taskbar so you can easily access it but this is where it runs it runs in a tray so since you've um have it installed now what you want to do is go to edit plugins and you want to go to options and scan for plugins but what you want to do also is add the folders that the plugins are installed you could do that by you can install something like geek uninstaller if you're not sure where the plugins are um, you can also make a note of the plugin installations as you're installing them you could do it that way but typically the uh, the folders are relatively the same so these folders may be exactly the same for you. So you just want to add those folders in here by hitting the plus button and adding them from your system. Once you add them, they will show up here. Okay. You want to do that for this uh, first setup here. You also want to do it for VST three plugins and you want to add that folder for VST three plugins by hitting the plus button and adding that destination path here as well. Okay. So once you do that, you're going to go to options. You're going to scan. You're going to hit scan and it's going to tell you what's here, right? It's going to pop up all the plugins that you've installed. Yeah, I'm aware of some of these are kind of like awkward for the system, which is fine. And then you also want to do the same scan for the VSC three plugins for that folder and whatever is associated with that will also pop up here. Okay. So once you've done that, you can close that out. You want to go to Lighthost. You want to go to Preferences. Make sure the audio device type is ASIO. Make sure the device is Voice Meter Insert Virtual ASIO. Make sure the active output channels are all checked. Make sure the active input channels are all checked. And then your plugins will show here since you did the scan. You have available plugins here and you'll have the active ones here. So, so for Adding them, the only thing you have to do is just go to the plugin. So pro, for Protoverb, you just go to the plugin, click it, and then it'll add it in the active. Okay. Same thing for Lisp, right? It'll put put it in the uh, active plugin. Same thing for Frontier. Pop it up in here. Uh, Kakos, I did only a few of them. I did the gate, the comp, and the EQ and the reaffer, right? So they those are there. All right. So those are the plugins already active in this section here. So from there, right, you'll be able to start making adjustments to the plugins. So for Lisp, which is the de okay, you go to edit. And this is it. Okay, so for, so I'm just going to do a quick overview for the settings that I have. They may not be exactly the same for you, but just a quick overview on the settings. So for me, I'm aware that my sibilance range is from three to 10 kilohertz, which is the S sounds, right? So I've set it from three to 10, which is a good range. So every time I do the S sounds, it'll activate the de -er, okay? And you want that, okay? So that's how I set that up. So let's go back. I'm just gonna keep going back to it so we can go through the, uh, the plugins. So the next one is the Frontier Limiter. So the closer I get to the mic, as you can see, it's activating the limiter. So, you know, it's working properly. So I just made the adjustments to about right in this section here for the frontier limiter. And that seems to be working really well for me. The next one I have here is the reaffer standalone. Okay. So we're going to look at that real quick. So this one, this particular setup. I like this plugin because it eliminates a lot of background noise 
uh, automatically for you. So you're not necessarily working that that hard with um, combating sounds in the background. So the way I've used this particular plugin, pretty much just, this is the only section of the plugin that I'm using, is the subtract feature. Okay, and the way you use that is you click on the automatically build noise profile and make sure you're not talking. And it builds a profile of the sound of your room and your surroundings. And once it's done with that, it creates this red graph, okay? Once the red graph is created, you uncheck that box and then that setting will stay. Okay, that's the only uh, piece of this plugin that I've used. Um, I haven't used anything else. Um, there is an EQ function in here, uh, a gate, a compressor. I, I haven't used that. The most, effective, uh, the most effective thing in here for me is the subtract feature, okay? And that's what I've used there. The next thing I want to highlight here, let's go back to it, is the EQ, okay? So for me, uh, since I mentioned uh, the siblings area, so if I do the S sounds, you'll notice that the where the three is located here is where the activity will happen. So if I do the S sounds, you can see that's the range there. So I even activated this three by lowering it in this section around 4,000, right? So I know that whenever I do the S sounds, not only is the de -er in play, this EQ is in play as well, okay? So you have the mid area here for range, you have the your, your high area here, and you have your low area here. So you can just pull on the, the number and make those adjustments uh, for yourself, right? So I've pulled the three down and to change the frequency, uh, the, the width of the frequency, you can make these uh, adjustments uh, for the bandwidth, right? So, so you can make those adjustments as needed for your setup. Okay. So this is the EQ. I've set my EQ and EQ is working pretty well. And also these plugins, especially the Rea, Rea Fur and all the plugins for a Rea Plug, you can use those in uh, certain programs that are audio, uh, audio editing programs, right? So we'll close that out. The next one we want to look at is Protoverb. Okay, so Protoverb is the reverb. The reverb is currently on. It's very light right now. I'm not sure if the adjustments will happen once I make them uh, for this particular recording. So if I increase this, there may be changes there. I'm not sure I have to listen back to it and see if, if there is, because I'm not listening to myself right now, but I usually have it somewhere around here and the reverb is on. So for protoverb, you could change the different settings to see what you like. The Klaus one is kind of cool, or you can go undo everything and it'll make those changes back to where you had it, okay? Next thing we wanna look at here is the compressor standalone. Okay, so you edit here. So for the compressor, I didn't do anything too crazy here. I just did a three milliseconds for the attack. I actually adjusted this knob here. So if I get closer to the mic, you can see the red popping up on the top, which means that it's compressing to make sure that I do not go into the red or clipping. So the audio is pretty uh, even across, right, as I'm speaking, whether that's live streaming or not. You could do an auto makeup gain if you need that, which I don't necessarily need that because my, my audio is pretty high already. So I've just set it to about uh, 12.6. I'm going to 12.6 dB. It seems to be a good uh, indicator for volume for me, and that's working really well. So this is where I set it. I did not check the auto makeup gain because I don't feel like I need it right now. So th that's my setup for this particular compressor right now. See what else we have here. Next one we have is the gate. So the gate is set pretty, pretty light. I think the fact that we have the re fur working properly for our noise, I didn't really need much of a gate. Uh, so I'm debating if I want to leave this or not. Not so I don't know. It's it's just uh, debatable for me right now. But with it or without it, the 
the noise floor is really, really good for me. So, so I may end up removing it or deactivating it. So right now it's not a necessity, but it is good to have a gate if you need a gate uh, to make sure that uh, the noise is very minimal for your setup. Okay. And I think that's pretty much all the ones that we have, right? So we have uh, the, the de -esser, the limiter. We have the re -affer, which we looked at. The EQ, the protoverb, which is the reverb, the compressor, and also the gate. Okay, and if you need to add any more, as you add different plugins in your system, you can do a scan for it and they will pop up here and then you can add it to your system once it becomes active. This concludes my video on how to set up VST plugins with voice meter banana. Hope uh, this video gave you value. If it did give you value, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel and also sharing the video that really helps out a lot. And also we have a community discord that you can be a part of. If you want to come in and talk about audio stuff or find out when I'm streaming next, we do that stuff in the discord and also have conversations there. Uh, feel free to join that links in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.